makes sense. Fisk becomes the kingpin by eliminating all his rivals with his anti-crime task force. And the public thanks him for it. He writes a few big checks and everyone looks the other way. But it's not just the task force. I've been taking his enemies down too. And the one who's been pointing me toward them is Craven. I can't let him get away with this. I need to know more inside information on Fisk. Better make myself presentable. Wow. Everyone knows Fisk is crooked. But you're saying he's actually setting himself up as the top crime boss in New York? That's what I've been hearing. I'm uh, working with Whitney Chang on a story, and she needs proof. You're closer to Fisk than anyone I know. Not really. He, he keeps his business private. But, as an investor, I do have access to the task force's financial records. Oh. Okay. One of the addresses you gave me came up. Large payments to a security consultant. Fisk handles all the personnel decisions. He's the one who hired this Kravenoff guy. But he cooked the books, so technically, Oscorp's paying him. He's trying to throw me under the bus. Join the club. You okay? Yeah, it's just... I trusted someone I shouldn't have. And I probably should have seen it, but after losing my dad and Uncle Ben, I guess I wanted to believe. You wanted a father figure. I know what that's like. My dad shut me out of his life to focus on saving his own. And all he ended up leaving me was the disease that killed him. Listen, Pete. Take it from a guy who knows. When the people you trust turn their back on you, it's just proof you have to handle your problems yourself. But sometimes... you still need help. Harry, I'll do whatever I can for you. Just tell me what- Spider-Man. No one knows for sure how he got his powers. But he looks to me like the only successful, healthy example of cross-species genetics out there. You take pictures of him. You must have some way of reaching him. Well, uh... Peter, I need Spider-Man's blood. That's what I'm talking about. I can't get any better! You hear so many conflicting things about Spider-Man. that bomb, I bet I'll sense it. If I can't disarm it, I'll have to drown it. Ah, poor Harry. I want to help him, but without the proper testing, my blood could actually make things worse. That is the last time I eat garlic pizza before putting on the mask. Yikes. The river can't get any more polluted. Had the bomb gone off at this busy time of day, fatalities would have been all but assured. Thanks to Spider-Man, there were none. What 
makes someone decide to be a henchman? If my blood could cure Harry, I'd give it to him in a heartbeat. But it'll take time and lots of research to find out. And he's in no mood to wait. This off long enough. Gotta catch up to Harry and talk to him. You came. Thank you. I'll pay whatever you want. Mr. Osborne, wait. I've checked with scientists familiar with gene therapy, and I can't give you my blood. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? I'll die without it. Not right away. There's still time for more research. Every other cross-species subject has turned into a monster. I don't know why it's different from me. I'm, I'm looking into it. I've but... paid the top minds in the field to look into it. A fortune. They don't have the answers. I'm willing to take the chance. It's not just about you. The lizard, the other cross-species, they hurt people. Get out. Kill people. Just get out. I can't give you my blood until I, I know right. it's safe. I can't I trust promise. anyone. I'll find out. I'm on my own. Mr. Osborne, I... No, no, just... just go. Harry... ...really at the end of his rope. I should have noticed a long time ago, but I was busy being played for a fool by Craven. I can't believe I fell for his act. But why would he teach me his hunting techniques if he was going to betray me? I guess that's one of the things I'll have to ask him. Craven! Time for a little mentor-mentee chat. You know, discuss our mutual goals. Map out a five-year plan. Explain why you're working for a human jello mold. Looks empty. But maybe I can still find some answers. gonna kill me and stuff me like a trophy. All this time he's been studying me, testing me, figuring out my strengths, and how to beat them. And how best set a trap. You're a fake, a coward. This is your idea of a fair hunt? Oh no. It's only the prelude. Raku, <laughs> the antidote I gave you should remove all effects of the tranquilizer. I want you at the peak of your abilities. Stop acting like you're King Arthur. All that talk about honor. You lied to me. Betrayed me for the kingpin and his money. That was incidental. I did not betray you. I truly taught you all I knew. Not just so you eliminate the kingpin's rivals, but to make you the worthiest possible opponent. The foe I knew you would be. My greatest hunt. Now you are ready. And now we will see who is the hunter and who is the prey. 
So you used me to take out the Kingpin's rivals. What about Cassidy? I noticed you jumped in to stop him talking to me. Cassidy was useful for a time. He sought fear and distrust, but he is little more than a beast. Hard to spot him in this place, but I have to try. I can smell your fear. Watch Cassidy kill that kid. Why? So I'd kill him? So I'd feel guilty? Just because you're a sick freak? It was a test to see how strong you could be. If you could stomach the spilling of blood. I... I'm still waiting for an explanation for your mustache. Impossible. I studied you. You are not capable of this kind of fury. You lack a killer instinct. I make your own senses betray you. Come get me, boy. I get as angry as you do. I want to hurt my enemies just as much. The difference is, I know it's wrong. By one man! Not this time, pal. I have learned my own flail around like a drunken sailor. <laughs> I made you fight ghosts. Come get me! He's in the trees. Find him before he springs a trap. There is no escape. What a word you flail around like a drunken sailor. Always one step behind. Ambush me from the trees. You've been a poor sport. And so be it. To the death. No, that's your way. On my watch, no one dies! I gotta do a lot better next time. I beg you, kill me. Give me death over defeat. You're saying death isn't defeat? You planning on coming back as a craven zombie or something? Anyway, I won. That means I call the shots. What are your terms? You're a few episodes short of a season, Craven, but you've always had your own loony code of honor. So you're gonna tell me how to get to the Kingpin. The truth. Everything you know. Very well. You have won that right. Ask, and I shall answer. The information I have given you will get you inside the building. But you must still face Fisk himself. I'll distract him with cupcakes. This is why you will lose. You underestimate him. He has fought for his life since he was a boy. If you show even a moment's weakness, he will see it and kill you. The old killer instinct, huh? A lot of good it did you. I'm not sure if the cops can pin anything on you, but if not, take my advice and go back to Russia. Fisk doesn't seem as forgiving as I am. Who 
losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack